Well, I finally got my hands on one when the EXO, you know, first came out. I looked at it and I was kind of surprised. I don't know if you felt the same way, but you know, when it comes to a Riot knife, I'm, I'm always looking for something that's just really, really way cool, like the Torrent or the Jack, the Integra or, you know, that kind of thing. And so when this came out, I just thought it was a little gimmicky and I, I didn't get one, okay? I didn't get one, but uh, then they then they went out of stock pretty quickly. And then later, after I saw people kind of post them, I thought, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta try this out. This might be way cool. Now, it's definitely an interesting knife. I mean, gravity knife, and uh, the handle opens up, and of course, here's your. Exoskeleton design, serial number, etc. January of uh, 22, apparently. Manufacturer. Uh, Riot. And, and it's a good sized knife. L Max blade. And you can get it in a Tanto. Black micarta and brown micarta and something else. Uh, I forget. But uh, I got mine from White Mountain Knives. They came back into stock, etc. So, yeah, this little piece here is what holds it into place one way or the other. Um, I mean, even if you grip it pretty firmly, I mean, there's still, you know, a little bit, you can see, of play there. Um, okay, I can imagine you need to have some play in there because of the kind of knife it is and the tolerances, etc., that are involved. And let me grab, grab this. What we got for a blade? It's a decent sized knife, that's for sure. Three and three quarter inch blade, uh, about eight and three quarter overall length at uh, 22 centimeters. So about 95 uh, millimeter blade length, 95, 96, etc. And how fat's the handle? Mm, 0.54, not bad. 13.9 millimeters, blade stock being three millimeter at 0.11, okay? Yeah, I mean, uh, let's see if it'll cut anything. Oh yeah, that's nice. It's sharp, I mean, does Riot make a good knife? Well, yeah, of course they do. And this is titanium and, you know, it's got that integral look to it, doesn't it? Really interesting. What does what this thing weigh, anyhow? Get my scale going here. Okay, 4.8, not bad. Um, 137 grams. It's definitely fidget friendly. You know, I was, well, let, let's talk about what comes in the box, okay? First of all, you get the knife in here, and there's all kinds of stuff in here. There's your Kydex clip. There's where the knife itself comes in. There are some screws and some parts here. This is the Kydex clip, and this is the Kydex piece as well. And... Uh, this is kind of where it gets a little funky for me, okay? Uh, what else have we got in here? Come on. Oh, is that that's just a mic? That's a microfiber cloth in there, I believe. Oh, hold on. Yeah, and a and a pouch. Okay, okay. I was wondering. And let me see. What do we got here? Okay, yeah. And of course, we got this in here. It's not going to fit. Okay. 
and uh, the knife goes in here. Okay, that's fine. And I set this up like this because this is the clip here, okay? And this is what clips onto your belt, okay? So, like that. Now, then you can affix this with the screws in here onto here and uh, put this on your belt. Okay. That's fine, and I got it to where it was uh, kind of sitting like this, and I'll show you rather than to do it. But show you this here. Now, the this is straight up and down. This is tilted a bit forward, okay? So this being tilted a bit forward, and if you wear it on your right side, what I was doing is I'd reach around and pull it out like that, and then I could drop it and then push it right back in like that, okay? So it can be clipped to your belt, and it's like that. Now, okay, you can do that. Uh, I, to tell you the truth, I've kind of, I'm kind of lost on it now. It's not that easy to carry because if you got to strap this to your belt, then um, I, that's like carrying a sheath knife. And I can think of a lot of sheath knives that are small, EDC-able that I think I'd rather carry in that regard. And also that I could carry it like in a cross-draw situation. And I have not been able to configure this uh, because of the placement of the holes here to go cross-draw. And maybe I just didn't try hard enough to do that, um, but I kept thinking, well, can I do that? And one hole would line up and then the other one wouldn't, and I was trying to figure out how to do that. So I didn't see a good, well, cross draw situation. And that's what I'd want. It's like where I could just pull it straight out uh, instead. So, oh man, that's tight. This sheath is tight here. So, you know, that just makes it rather impractical and you can't just throw it in your pocket because this, I mean, that's just too dangerous. So if you had like a wide elastic band, you could do that, you know, and just have it strapped around there and you could drop it in your pocket at that point. But then again, something this long kind of really needs a pocket clip, doesn't it? So I don't, you know, uh, and, and here's what I thought, and I, I really do. Somebody needs to take a piece of this Kydex material here, okay, and just make a little end cap piece that sna it snaps into, okay, just a little piece. And then it's got a trailing part of this as coming down as a belt clip so it's just got a little end piece you kick it into kind of like uh uh isn't it the halo um by uh microtech the big big dog halo 5 halo 4 something like that and then but it would have a little kydex attached part of the one piece deal that would be like a belt clip and so you could actually snap that onto here, it'd have a little belt clip and you could just stick it, I mean, not belt clip, but I mean uh, pocket clip, and you could just slide it in your pocket, have it like a pocket clip, and that cap would be snapped onto the top there. Then you could undo it, pop that off, do what you're gonna do, pop it back on, slide it back in your pocket. I mean, that would make, and they, I think it would be, a knife that I'd I'd like to keep if Riot had come up with a better system to carry it. Okay, I guess that's what I'm trying to say. This is just not practical in any way, shape, or form. Okay, it's it's cool, it's fidget friendly, it's sharp. I mean, you can get this in a tanto blade, you can get this in a dagger shaped blade, you can get it partially blacked. 
you can get it in black micarta. You can get, you know, there's there's a lot of cool factor with these knives. And they're good size, which I like as well. They're not overly heavy. The ergos are fine, okay? But it's just, uh, yeah, it's just too much flop open and closed. And I need something where maybe a mechanism could have, you know, like toggled down and locked this thing up in place to where you could carry it like a safety and then un, you know, unlock it or, you know, like the little Kydex cap with a pocket clip attached, you could do that. But the way it is now with the kind of carry system that this is, I don't know, I'm not digging this. This is just too bulky for me. And one other thing, I put this on my belt. I did and I carried it. The problem was my side um, came down on, I can't remember if it, I had it kicked up like this, I guess. So I could unsnap it and snap it on. But that was eaten away at, at my side. Now, I guess maybe I need a heavier shirt kind of tucked in and gives me a little barrier against this. But this was kind of grating against the side love handles, you know. And so, I don't know about you, but I don't want that sticking way up. I want this no taller than the top of my pants, but this one was taller than that, and so it's it's grating away. I don't know. So, it just wasn't a good setup for me, and I, I didn't really spend all that much time trying to find a comfortable setup. I just decided I don't think it's for me. It's cool. It's interesting that they would put themselves out there to the trouble of doing something like this. Check it out. Yeah, I mean, I, I find it fascinating, but uh, and I like the overall design. I like this kind of straight look like this, but I, I'm just, uh, the overall uh, functionality of it not so much. I think I'm going to see a bunch more of these come my way and on future table sales as well. That's that's what I'm thinking. Probably not an all-time great like the Horizon C, Horizon D, the Riot Jack, uh, Starboy. I mean, you go on and on and on. A lot of Riot knives, really, really nice. The Torrent, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And then this one, nah, nah. Interesting that they do it, but nah, I'm not feeling it. So let's see what we got here. And which way are we coming out of this? Okay, so this is presentation side. And, uh, oh, here, and there's the back side. And we're dropping, dropping parts. So here's the top, okay. This was right through this hole here in this, okay. Uh, and oh, by the way, here's our stop. So basically, we need to remove that uh, little piece. And I guess that must be a number eight as well. Wow, okay. Okay. Let's see what we got. How groovy cool is that? And... There's those screws. Do they look the same? Yes, they do. Okay. Now, here's the front piece. So that's on presentation side. And there's the back piece. All right. 
Now, this should come right out, which it does. Interesting. Just one piece right here. That's it. Wow, that must have been something to do. You know what I'm saying? I'm impressed. And set that baby right back in there with these screws like that. And they're all number eights. So that makes it great. So not exactly uh, difficult to uh, disassemble and function with. And then we got this little sleeve that was in here. That's in here. Now we just drop this down. Okay, just like that. Okay. And we got this piece in here. this here and it's a number eight as well that's good it's uh it's pretty simple uh and this was not tightened down real real tight anyhow and i think that's that's fine just like that Back with the Riyadh XO. Um, I gotta say no to the XO. Uh, I, I, I find it fascinating. I really do. But as far as a long term knife and real, like, involved carry user, I just, I really, I don't see it because I'm not a sheath guy. Uh, I'm not into doing that. And, uh, just a regular knife I can slide in my pocket. Nice pocket clip goes in and out easy. Uh, a knife that will uh, be able to be deployed but will lock in place. Uh, and, you know, that kind of thing. Uh, yeah. Won't come open in my pocket, etc., etc. I'm all good with that. This is just a little bit too uh, inventive for me for everyday use. Be nice if you have like a display case and you want this to be one of your varied and unusual knives. I, I get it. I get it. So not knocking it, just saying not my style. Take care, my friends. You know what we do? We do love them knives. You guys stay sharp.